everyone and right now what we're going to be doing is starting on a series of tutorials for Decadance and Decadance is just a powerful DJ software application. So if you're someone out there that is interested in becoming a DJ, if you don't know where to start, you can start with Decadance. You can use the demo version of Decadance, it's fully functional, you can learn everything you need to know to become a DJ, whether it be a portable DJ or a club DJ, whatever kind of DJ you want to be. Decadance is an application that can help you achieve that. And we're going to be starting off at the absolute beginner level too. So if you're absolutely new to all this stuff, if you don't know anything about becoming a DJ, where to start, we're going to be starting at the absolute beginner level in these tutorials. And for the more experienced DJs out there, you can use these tutorials as a guide to just getting familiar with the Decadence interface. It's an incredible application too. If you're a DJ and if you're not aware of Decadence, if you never used it, do check out these tutorials and also check out the features, some of the features about Decadence at the Decadence website, and I'll show you that in a moment. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to give you an overview of Decadence. We're not really going to jump in and do too much, but I do want to mention though that Decadence has an incredible beat matching feature that makes setting up your tempos and tracks and getting things synchronized really easy and automated for you. And if you're wanting to become a DJ, learning how to do that stuff manually is the hardest thing. That is the most time consuming thing that you'll ever have to learn as a DJ is just to get used to tapping tempos and getting things synchronized. And doing that sort of thing manually is very difficult. However, with Decadence, you don't have to worry about that too much. It is very simple to do in Decadence. And even though Decadence is not going to necessarily make you a better DJ, it's definitely going to make being a DJ easier for you. You just have so many tools available to you to make your workflow a lot easier. One of those tools is all the synchronization tools that you have within Decadence that eliminates the need to manually sync things on your own. And you do have that option if you're somebody that really prefers to do things manually. You have that option too. If you want to do it manually, you can, but Decadence does do a nice job of beat matching. And just let me give you one example here of two tracks. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually get these things in sync with each other. So if I press play here, we got that going on. Okay, if I press play here, you can tell things are pretty out of sync. They're not synchronized. But we can synchronize without any difficulty. All I have to do is press play here sync here and then all I have to do is right click and I'm actually using the demo so this is the dropout but So that's how easy it is to synchronize things. And in fact, when I was setting this up, it's actually, you know, you got to do a little work to get things not to get synchronized. But I just wanted to give you that demonstration there on how easy it is to synchronize things within Decadence. And as I was mentioning, as I was playing, there was that brief moment of silence. And that is actually the only limitation of the demo version of Decadence. So you can use Decadence and you can learn Decadence and that limitation is not going to interfere with your ability to learn Decadence. When you're ready to go live, you can purchase Decadance and you're ready to go. And you don't really need a whole lot of equipment to get started, right? Depending on what you want to do. If you're planning on being a, a club DJ, a live remix artist, then, you know, that involves some equipment. But if you're planning on just being a portable DJ, you don't really need a whole lot to get started. And actually, you can get started that way. And when you start earning, some profit as a DJ, you can build up to become a club DJ, or hip hop DJ, whatever you want. So let's go on to the internet here, and I'm going to show you where to get Decadance. And if you just type Decadance, just like this, in a search engine and hit enter, you'll find a link to Decadance, the Decadance website. And this is the address here. If you click on downloads, you can download Decadance from here. And also, you might want to check out the overview right here. Read through some of these features. Decadence is a really impressive software. And also, I do want to show you one more thing here. If you go to YouTube, 
we'll go to YouTube. You might want to just check out this video here with Dead Mouse, and he is using Decadence to produce a live remix. And if you type in Dead M A U five Dead Mouse, and it's spelled D A E T M A U five. And if you type in X one three D, type it in like that, you'll get your first hit, the video here. Do check out this video, and this is Dead Mouse working with Decadence, and it's a neat video. And it'll really give you an idea of how powerful Decadence is, and he's doing a real-time remix here. There's some heavy-duty equipment here, all right, and as I mentioned, you don't really need this kind of equipment. It really depends on what you want to do. But I don't have anything like this. I mean, I wish I did, but it's awfully expensive. So just know that you can get started using Decadence, and this is not a requirement, okay? Equipment like this. Dead Mouse is a professional DJ. He does some experimental work with Decadence and other music software applications. So for him, I mean, something like this is something that he really needs. But for many of you out there, you don't need this to get started. Don't think that you have to go out and buy one of these things right away just because you want to use Decadence. But again, just watch this video. It's a great demonstration of what you can do with Decadence. And actually, for us, we are just going to be, again, focusing on the very beginner topics. And even though I showed you how to really sync things together here, we're going to go more into detail about issues like this, like setting up cue points and creating loops. And we're only going to be working with one track for a little while. And beyond that, later on, we're going to take a look at perhaps going in here and adding samples and VST instrument effects, setting up controllers. There's a lot going on in Decadence, but... We're just going to take things one step at a time. We're going to start at the beginner level for now.